Hey YouTube, it's 98 Murray here, doing another video showcasing one of my tractors. Um, like I said, I'm going to start kind of a series here, so this is the second one. Um, hopefully the audio is okay, I've still got a microphone situation I'm trying to work out, but for now we're going off the microphone on the camera, so hopefully it's alright, y'all can hear me. But uh, this tractor we're going to talk about here today, this is a, kind of my go-to tractor. This is my tractor that I uh, hop on whenever I need to move something, pull something around. This is my this is my main go-to tractor for stuff that isn't mowing because it has a mower deck, it's just not on it. This is a 2003 Murray Garden tractor. And uh, this is said to be kind of a anniversary edition by uh, some of the kind of big leagues at Murray that I've talked to. Um, it is a pretty special tractor. It has a lot of features that uh, Murray didn't really like to, or didn't really was known to put on tractors. Um, first and foremost, this tractor has electric deck lift, which is uh, pretty interesting. And uh, it is a garden tractor, so even though it says on the hood, but this is a you know a wide body series tractor, which started in '97 for Murray. The rail frame design, and um, this is a garden tractor version. So the difference is, is uh, it's the same frame as the lawn tractor, same frame rails, I should say. Um, but the rear hitch plate is different. It's thicker, it's more heavy duty, it's one piece instead of two pieces. Um, and so you can mount a sleeve hitch to it. And uh, this tractor is rated for plows and cultivators and discs and stuff like that. So uh, it has a, I want to say a Tough Torque K56 transmission. I don't think it's a 66, I think it's a 56 if I remember right. It's a Tough Torque though. It's not a 46, I'll tell you that right now. It's, it's either a 56 or 66, I can't remember. Um, it does have one inch axles. It does have five volt hubs on it. It didn't come that way. These came just one inch keyed wheels. But I had some. Uh, I had these wheels that I wanted to put on here, so I had some adapters, some hubs I put on here. So uh, it has a 25 horse Breezen Stratton V twin, and it runs great. It's actually one of the best running tractors I own, honestly. But uh, so this body style is kind of the same that was used on the Scotch tractors and the Stanley tractors. Um, this kind of hood style. Which isn't super well known for Murray. You know, most of the time you see Murrays are that different style. They're red usually. Uh, there are black Murrays. You know, the Murray Selects that were sold at Home Depot. Um, but this is what is called a Murray Performance. At least is what it was badged as. These were sold at like Aphis stores um, and like I can't remember what other retailers sold Murray Performance. I don't think these are sold at like Walmart's though. Um, but they're kind of a the Murray Performance mowers are almost a more upscale Murray sometimes um, sometimes not all the time but like this tractor for instance it has the front bumper on it which uh, a lot of these I see have bumpers on them I think they just kind of came with them um, although it was an option for Murray you could buy it and put it on most any Murray um, wide body tractors that is I don't know if the bumpers I don't think the bumpers will fit the old ones but I'm not sure um, so it has the bumper with it it's got uh, electric deck lift got electric PTO again another pretty odd option for Murray they did not really put electric PTOs on a whole lot of mowers except for you know these Murray performance models you see it on quite a few of them actually the bigger ones anyway so it's got that it's got you know hydrostatic tough torque transaxle um, so it's pretty nice it's got also this you know really high back seat on it which is a pretty fancy seat for Murray uh, it's definitely the highest back seat they ever used it's got kind of a comfort grip steering wheel you know it's a just kind of a somewhat premium tractor. Um, it does not have, even though it's a Scott style hood and all that, it does not have the diagnostic dash like the Scott's tractors have. It's the same body style, and you could technically put one on if you swap the dash and wiring and all that. But Murray didn't include it um, on these. I'm not sure why. I guess for cost, you know, they got so many other features on here, especially with the electric deck lift. You know, they're not gonna they're not gonna give you every feature on this, but. Uh, one other big thing this has going for it, it has a cast iron front axle, which is, again, kind of a big deal. You know, most of the, your regular Murrays, like your ones at Home Depot and Walmart and all that, they're all steel front axles, box front axles. Um, these Murray Performance models got a cast iron front axle, so it's kind of an upgrade, a pretty more premium feature again. And, um, again, with this being the garden tractor, the front axle is the same as the lawn tractor, but the spindles are different, the axle spindles. Um, whereas on the lawn tractor, they're three quarter inch, uh, you know, spindle bore, uh, on the wheels, this is seven eighths. So not sure why it's not one inch and they went in the middle with seven eighths. It's kind of odd, but it is bigger than a lawn tractor spindle. It's also taller, you know, for a bigger wheel, for more, more height. Uh, the same on the back. 
with the one inch axles instead of three quarter uh, on this transaxle and all the garden tractor models had one inch axles. Uh, this would have had 23 by 950 12 tires I believe. Um, at least that's what was on it when I got it. And that, they looked back there. So, but yeah, it's a pretty nice little tractor. Um, it does have a couple other deals. It's got a cup holder. It's got a little indicator here for your uh, deck height since there's no, well, you don't have the lever, you know. So it's got just like a, it's got the same cutout in the fender pan for the manual lift lever. They just uh, put this little kind of indicator here to tell you where your deck is in relation. So, but yeah, uh, I'll get the camera off the stand there and we'll walk around. I'll kind of show you up a little bit close before we lose all our daylight here. And uh, maybe even do a little video of me driving around on it since this one is good runner and driver. So hold on just a second and I'll, we'll walk around it. All right, I got y'all down off the mount so we can kind of walk around it here. So, like I said, this is the kind of the Scott Stanley style. Technically, this is actually the Stanley style of hood and grill. The Scott's is the same same look, but the hood has more vent holes in the top, and the grill has the vent holes in a different spot, or they're on the upper part, not the lower part. So, just little differences. They're essentially the same body style. They just change the stampings at some point. But um, yeah, you can see the big old. Murray bumper here on the front, which was an option. I do have a couple other Murray bumpers too. But like I said, this tractor came with it. A lot of these that I see out there have this bumper on it, so I think they just kind of come with it when they were new. And you can kind of see that cast iron front axle there. So that's pretty nice. And the Murray Performance badge. This is an actual like plastic emblem that's like, you know, glued to the hood. It's supposed to be white, not red, the letters there, but they kind of fade. They always do on these. I don't know what they used to make that white on there, but it wasn't very good. So, but we'll pop the hood open here. You can see a, it's got a 25 horse Briggs Intec V-Twin. It's the largest size of engine that Murray ever used as a 25 horse. Uh, they used, I believe it was just Briggs. They did have some Kohler commands that were pretty big in the, um, and the Scott's tractors, but I don't know if they went up to 25 horse. They might have just stopped at 20, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly. So this is pretty well the biggest engine that Briggs or that Murray ever used in a, in a machine in their time. So let's see here. Yeah, you got your nice high back seat. You got your, like I said, this is kind of a simple dash. It's not like the Scotts tractors where they would have had that diagnostic panel right there. Uh, it does have kind of this comfort grip steering wheel. I say comfort grip. It's, you know, it's not hard plastic. It's, it's, I don't know if it's like a vinyl or what. It's probably vinyl. But um, here's your deck height switch. And it's not supposed to be a screw. The actual, you know, switchy button cover broke. So it has this little screw. It still works. I need to try and find a new switch just to make it look better but you can see back here the rear hitch plate where your sleeve hitch would bolt on to and kind of the Murray performance badge on the back and this tractor oh we can't quite read its model tag very well but it's a it was made in April of 2003 I can't tell if that's April 20th or what There's that uh, indicator for the deck height there. And it would have had a sticker here showing, you know, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And uh, I'll show you here. We'll turn the key on and hit the switch. And what that is is down here under the fender on the other side, actually, is a little electric motor set up. And it has an arm there that kind of just pulls in, on the rock shaft. So it's the same rock shaft for the most part as the manual lift. They just added this little electric motor doohickey to make it work the rock shaft for you. You can see these had these had a pretty uh, kind of a silver colored wheels. Whenever I do find pictures of ones that are really nice... Um, the wheels are a really nice silver color almost chrome not quite chrome just a really really bright silver really shiny So uh, for some reason I find a lot of these tractors up in Wisconsin in that area. I'm not sure why Wisconsin specifically 
but I found a bunch of these. Heck, that's where I got this one. I found this one up in Wisconsin when I, and I picked it up back uh, in June of, you know, 2023. Um, so down here in Texas, she's a she's a far little ways from home up there where she came from. And this tractor would have had a 46 inch deck on it. Um, I actually still have the deck for it. I've mowed with it, but it needs it needs blades. It needs some repairs, so I took it off uh again because I, I have other tractors for mowing with this is mostly my pull around tractor um i do have a sleeve hitch for this tractor a new old stock one actually uh i haven't put it on yet because i don't i don't really have a use i have a sleeve hitch on another tractor if i need to use one but uh i don't really have too much use for a sleeve hitch if i'm being honest with you i got a few attachments but nothing you know nothing crazy but yeah that's that's this little tractor um for this is about the only time they used well i scratched that um well this is the only time they really seem to use this body style on a garden tractor this kind of scott style hood um all the other garden tractors are the uh kind of the other oh i'll show you on another video we have uh i have two more of these murray performance tractors at 04 and 05 or a late 04 and another 04 if i'm being honest but they're uh they're both a different style of hood that was much more common to see. Um, this style of hood, like I said, you usually saw on the Scott's tractors, the Stanley tractors. But also, Murray Performance lawn tractors used this hood quite a bit in 2004 and 5. Um, but for 03, they put it on this garden tractor model, so that was pretty pretty neat. So, But yeah, let's, uh, let me set the camera back down while we still got some kind of daylight. And I'll just show you driving around on this thing just a little bit. So, give me just a second. We got her parked back here in storage with the rest of them this one usually stays right here at the doorway because like i said that's the one i hop on most frequently to go do something with so but yeah that's it i need to fix the front steering as you can see uh the wheel bushings are wore out and uh i don't know if the anything else is wore out on the steering i know the wheel bushings are about shot so i need to get some of those but yeah that's this little guy so glad i could show it to y'all this is kind of this is a tractor i'm pretty pretty happy to have so but uh we'll get one of those other ones out or a couple of them out here in a maybe this weekend and do a video on some of those so if y'all got one in particular y'all are wanting to see a video on uh comment below let me know and i'll try and get a video done on it and showing them off and hopefully y'all can see what all they're about so anyways thanks for watching y'all appreciate it